Hello, welcome. Tonight, I would like to tell another Aesop story. This one's called The Frogs Who Wanted a King. There was a large pond of water, and a lot of frogs lived there. Many frogs. And they had, they had a meeting, a big meeting. Lots of frogs attended. And they got to talking, thinking and talking. And they decided, we frogs are a great and wonderful nation now. We deserve a king. So they they debated, talked back and forth. And they tried to choose from among themselves. But not one frog was skilled enough to be their leader, be king. So the frogs decided sin three of the oldest and wisest up the mountain to visit Jupiter and ask him to give them a king. So the three frogs set out. And they asked, Oh, great Jupiter, please give us a king, for we are a great nation, and we deserve a king. Jupiter looked down. Well, okay, I'll give you a, a king. And he picked up a log, a large log, and he threw it down into the pond. It made a big splash. Water went everywhere. And all the frogs were afraid. They watched waited. Nothing happened. Nothing. They swam out. They looked at the log. And soon they sat on the log. And they gave the log no respect. And they all come together. And they had a meeting. And they discussed this event. That log is not good enough for us. We are a great nation. We deserve a real king. So again, they sent the three oldest and wisest frogs to visit Jupiter. They said, Jupiter, we are a great nation now. The, the king you sent is only a log. We deserve a better king, a real king. Uh, Jupiter looked down. Okay. Oh, well, it's time. He sent them an eel. 
Can you put it in the pond? And for a short time, the frogs were happy. They had a king now. But the eel was nice and was gentle and relaxed. And the frogs talked among themselves. He is a weak. We deserve a strong king, a real king. Once again, they sent the three oldest and wisest frogs to visit Jupiter. Oh, great, wonderful Jupiter, please, we beseech you, give us a real, a real king, a strong leader to govern us, a real king. He's getting a little angry. Okay. You want a strong king. I will give you a strong king. Now, get out of here. Go home. So they hopped down the mountain. Jupiter looked around. He found a heron. A large bird, a large, hungry bird. He took the hair and put it down in the pond. And the heron ate all the frogs. Every single one until there were no frogs. They were all gone. And the moral of this story is let good enough alone. Let it stay where it's at. Thank you for watching. Remember, always have fun and enjoy yourself.